Hi guys, I'm back with another video for you, so let's get started. I'm starting off with putting on my foundation and for this I mix my foundation, get from the Locket Foundation in Light 42 with the Radiance Feel from Elamesca and I'm putting that all over my face. And blending it out with a real Technique sponge. And I'm also putting a bit into my brows to make the look a bit more cohesive. I'm blending the foundation out and into my skin. And next I'm going to powder it down and for this I'm using Kryolin T01 powder. And now I'm going to bring some color into the face. And for this I'm using Love Plus From Sugar Pill. This is my all time favorite eyeshadow because I cannot live without this. I love red eyeshadows. I know it's not for everyone but I love what it does to my eyes. So here I'm putting it onto my face with a dense brush and next I'm going to blend it out a bit with a looser brush. So here you can see what I'm doing. Blending it out, blending it out and also my jawline to give my face a bit more shape. Blend it out and now I'm going to darken the contour with a fetish from Jeffree Star and blending that out as well. Now I'm using designer blood from Jeffree Star and I'm going to blend this all around my mouth to give this a diffused look. So first I'm going to blend it out till I'm happy with the length and now I'm going to take my sponge with leftover foundation and I'm going to blend it in and repeat this till I'm happy with it. Now I'm going to put a dot of designer blood into the inner corner of my eyes and blending that out very softly and getting the shape that I want. So I'm blending it out and contouring my nose a bit with it and blending it out a bit with the sponge as well. So and now I'm going to put a bit of Love Plus on top of it to make it a bit more red and blending it out. Now for my waterline I'm also using designer blood. I always use liquid lipsticks and I never had a problem with it. But if you do or you are afraid, don't try this. So now I'm going to make kind of yeah kind of under eye bags to give the face a bit more shape and uh a weirder, yeah, a weirder shape because I like how this looks. So first I'm going to start off with Love Plus and blending this out very slowly. So blending it out with the brush. And now I'm putting Kiss Kiss from Sugar Peel on top of my eyelids and blending it into my crease. It's a red metallic eyeshadow and it's a really gorgeous shadow. So if you can, try it out. It's from the Feline Fancy palette. So I'm blending the lines out and I'm going to use Fetish again from Jeffree Star. And I'm giving the lines more depth so it looks like the bags are real. Not that I'm going for real, but it kind of looks at like it. So I just wanted to give it a bit more depth. And now with sealed with a kiss I'm blending this all out also from sugar peel and blending it a bit around my mouth as well now again pack on kiss kiss on top of my eyelids to make it a bit more vibrant and now I'm using princess cut from Jeffree Star as a highlight to make my skin shine because I think it really suits the look now this is the most difficult part and I didn't really know what I wanted to do with the lips so I'm just starting off filling in my upper lip and blending a bit on top of my lower lip and then I'm going to create the shape that I want and playing around with it and see well, what I get up with. So here is the finished lip and after that I'm going to put some lines underneath my eyes for the bloody tears and for this I'm using watered down powder blood I didn't want to do it onto my face because I was afraid it would get too messy with this look so I'm using a brush for this so I'm putting some tears underneath my eyes and I think I'm going to do some as well in my nose because I really like how it gets cohesive now, because I wanted a bit more dimension and texture, I'm using a 3D blood from Form X and I'm going to put that on top of the tears. It's just a 3D gel that gets a bit more firm after a while and it stays put really well. So I'm putting on top of the powder blood and a bit of my cubist bow 
for texture and now with the same foundation I'm going to put it onto my upper lashes so it will give a kind of a ghostly look and I really liked it. I used some glitter and I will put that in the description box because I cannot pronounce her name, I'm sorry. Um, I'm putting that onto my hair, onto my neck and a bit on the inner corner of my eyes for some texture. So this is the finished look, I hope that you all liked it. Thank you for watching and I hope that I see you next time. Bye bye.